Greetings, family. How are you? I hope all is well with you. All is well with me. For those who do not know, my name is Lesline. You can call me Miss L. I'm coming in for a quick moment to say thank you to my new subscribers. I hope that what I'm sharing with you is um, of value. I hope that what I'm sharing with you will assist you in your travels and in your transformation. So with that being said, let me just say something very quickly. This idea about traveling doesn't have to be a physical place where you're going from here to there. It can be spiritual. Your It's a spiritual journey that you're on and with that journey you hope that that there will be change I mean I'm saying that because when we're getting from A to B and we're looking for something different the different does not happen um, externally because it could be the same person, a different location, but the same experience. The change has to happen internally so that it is the, a different person in a different location. I hope that makes sense to you. So, on this journey, this, this transformation journey, I'm beginning to realize that I may have had a vision. I wrote down my vision. I've made very clear my vision. And yet, I am going to still face roadblocks. Now, when I face those roadblocks, I'm realizing that it's okay to change the direction that I go in. The vision is not going to change. The end, the end, the that goal that I'm that I'm striving for, it's going to happen. But how it happens and the direction in which it happens may be where there are areas of change and that's okay so i remember when i first came here and i started meeting a lot of people and we would talk and they were telling me how challenging it was and the challenges probably came from the fact that they were in this new place and still had to make an adjustment. And that I, I totally understand. The difference was that, um, how can I explain it? I guess I think for them there was always this plan B. Well, if this doesn't work, I will do that instead. And because I had already determined what the end goal was going to be, there was no plan B. It was plan A and that was going to be it. And so what does that mean? This race that I'm on, that marathon that I'm on, that 26.2 miles, it's going to happen. It's not going to be pretty. I may hit the wall at mile 20 like they say most runners do, but I am going to keep going because the goal is to finish what has been pressed in my heart to finish. Now, I wanted to break this video up into two segments, but I'm just going to share it with you because in on my transformation journey, I'm, I'm learning that if I don't do the work, the trauma that was in my life as I grew, 
as I lived in the world, as I worked, as I raised my children, as I went in and out of relationships, um, how I related to people and co-workers and responsibilities, those things cause trauma in my life. I don't want to say in, in our lives, but if you're honest with yourself, these things cause trauma, how we are raised sometimes and things that are instilled in us can cause trauma. The key is to understand what it is and to start to do the work so that when you get to the new place, your trauma doesn't turn into drama. You have to be able to deal with the issues that cause you stress and anxiety that would allow you to react in certain ways. You have to deal with those things so that there is a different outcome or else it will be the same. Which brings me back to what I said. You have to work internally to get a different external experience. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Now I had another topic in mind that kind of changed a little, but we'll talk about that in the next video. My question to you is how do you feel is the best way for you to deal with your trauma? Would you like to see a therapist? Would you prefer to read books? Would you like to go and climb um, Mount Kilimanjaro and get an epiphany there? Or what I did um, about 28 years ago, I trained for and ran a marathon. The funny thing is when I started running, I didn't even know that I was dealing with trauma. I didn't know that I had um, postpartum depression, but I knew that I did not feel good. <clears throat> and I was always an active person. And to be honest with you, I was always very vain. I'm not gonna lie. I'm older now, I don't care. I don't care how I look too much. I'm lying <laughs> but you know what I'm saying when, when you're when you're 30 you're 35 you're 40 those things are really very they, they, they have more value right now life health and strength is it is it but um, postpartum depression was a term that I had never really thought about and how it affected me and what I started doing is running. I was in a location where I was near a city park and I could change at lunchtime at work and I started out walking and then I met someone who was a triathlete, you know, in her spare time. And she said, train to run and when they have the next corporate challenge, we'll sign up together and I'll run with you corporate challenge. I didn't even know what that was. I had been in corporate America for years, but wasn't looking at activities like that. And so I've always liked the challenge and I did it. The day of the race, the person that I was working with was had to, you know, had other responsibilities and couldn't run. And so I ran the race without her and it changed my life. And then a few months later, I happened to see the New York City Marathon on TV. And I thought to myself, I wanna do that next year. And I did. And so I spoke something into existence and, I, and it happened. I remember I had gotten a letter in the mail that said that I didn't get chosen right away, but I was on the waiting list and if I uh, were chosen later, I could consider doing it, and I didn't think that I was going to be chosen. And mid-October, they told me that I was um, 
that a space for me had become available and was I still interested in running the marathon three weeks later at that point I had stopped training but I had trained enough to know that I could finish and I did and it changed my life and so my transformation that I'm going through now is very similar to other challenges and, and, and goals that I have had and have met and, and, and have um, changed the way I think, the way I feel, the way I look. And so this is nothing new. And it all started with me. It all started with me. And so I'm happy to say that it is well with me. I hope the same thing for you. And I hope to see you when I post the next time. Thank you. Namaste and Ashe.